All right, so we are live in the house right now. Uh, welcome, everybody. I'm just going to wait a couple of seconds. So hopefully, we'll get some people joining in live. I just wanted to uh, welcome you here to my little abode where I do all my uh, my work, my creative work, my coaching, and all that kind of stuff, which is kind of awesome. And uh, today, I just want to talk to you a little bit about some motivation to get what you want, to, to help you move forward in your business. And I know that we all go through these these ups and downs, these lulls in our business, these uh, little dips and valleys in our business, right? So I really wanted to kind of give you some encouragement and uh, just bring you grounded into kind of get to what you want. Um, so if you are here and you're, you're watching me live right now, let me know, go into the comments, leave me a comment because I don't think I can see if anybody's joining or not. So I'm just going to kind of rip through some of the notes that I have here on uh, on how to get really what you want. Some some common practices that I've learned over the last, you know, seven, eight years working with world-class entrepreneurs and inside masterminds and reading books and, and studying and all this kind of stuff. So I kind of pass this along to um, my clients and my students and we go into masterminds and I just wanted to give you some of those tips to help you along, right? And, and if you're watching the recording after this, hey, you can still put in the comments uh, what you think and and anything else that I can help you with because I'm looking for topic ideas or maybe where you're struggling in your business. It's I know that we're here trying to create courses and trying to create online marketing and things like that, digital products, whatever it is. Um, but there's other levels of the business that I want to talk about. So really what I want to talk about mainly is the levels of want because I hear this all the time from people that tell me that they want success or they want things in life, right? And there's really three levels of want, and I, and I want you to write these down. The first one is that somebody who will, will just say, I want success. And really what that means is, is if you say that I just want to be successful or I want to make money or something like that, it's kind of the where if someone hands you success or hands you something, you'll take it, right? Um, that's the lowest level of, of you know moving forward in your business. When you, when you say to the universe or say to yourself or have the mindset of, when you say that to yourself, I choose success, I choose to go do these things, it's a better level than just saying, well, yeah, sure, I, I want to be successful. Because sure, if anybody handed you success or money or whatever it is you want, you're going to take it. But when you choose to do something, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit of a different mindset. It's, it's more deliberate, right? Um, but it's still not the best one, okay? When you choose success, you're still on the right path, but that's not the best one. Here's the best one is when you commit to success. Now commitment is has a big meaning and I can go into a whole other broadcast on what uh, commitment is and what uh, sacrifice is and because it's kind of lumped in all that same thing. A lot of people think that commitment is about sacrifice and giving up your life and all that other kind of things for a little while and then you'll kind of get all the success. But I have a different feel and different view on that. So really what commitment means is that you have no excuses whatsoever. No ifs, no buts, you're 100% in. And this is, is where the challenge is because a lot of people want to kind of do one thing or they want to start a business or whatever that is, but they're not 100% committed. They're not 100% in. I get that there's a lot of people who have business or they're, they're working for someone else and they want to kind of transition over. That's cool. But just do one thing, you know, like if you have to go to your job and survive and pay bills and, and feed yourself, and I get it. But if you're going to start a business and eventually hopefully transfer over, you know, into doing that full time, then, hey, you got to be 100 percent committed in, in building that one business. And that's it. And then you can transition over. OK, so that's kind of the three levels of success. And really what what success is all about is clarity. And so. If you're focusing on things that you don't want, the what ifs, if you focus on, well, what if this happens, what if that happens, and you're focusing on things that you don't want, it's not a good place to be. Really, what you want to start to do is focus on what you do want. And you've probably heard this before, I'm preaching to the choir here, right? But focus on what you do want, because when you do that, you're opening up your mind to look for things differently. And at that point, even if there are things where there are obstacles in the way, or that there could be some challenges along the way, then what you're doing is you're, you're still focusing on eliminating the obstacles, right? So you're not looking only at 
the bad stuff. Well, if I do this, I'm, I'm going to fail, or this can go happen, or I can go bankrupt, or whatever that is. You know what? Even if those do come up, hey, what happens if this fails? Great. Well, if it fails, what is the what's plan B? What's plan C? And so it's a different way and a different mindset of looking at building your business. And like I said before, a couple seconds ago, is stick to one thing at a time. I see this problem over and over and over again. Hey, I'm not pointing any fingers here, okay, because I'm in the same boat a lot of times, but I, I'm really good at catching myself. <laughs> so I can kind of self-coach myself there and say, Joey, what are you doing? You know, stick to one thing. And the more you stick to one thing, the better it is. Because when you're distracted and when you're kind of jumping around, then you don't know what's broken in the system that you're trying to build. You don't know where the fail safes are, where the failures are, where you could actually put in things to help you build the business and, and go further, okay? So really what it, this means is that you're being very meaningful about what you're doing every single day. You're waking up, you have a purpose, you have a, a design, you have a flow of what you're doing. Even if you don't know all the steps, it's still cool. You're just not wandering around. You're not wa waking up in the day and going, what am I going to do today, right? So this is um, really about not saying yes to other people's missions or agendas. And what I mean by that is if you wake up and you, the first thing you do is like you pick up your phone and you kind of look at this and you say, well, let me check my email. Let me see what's going on and what do I need to do? Well, then that really is looking at someone else's agenda. When you get one of those emails or, hey, go check this out. You need to respond to this email. You need This is urgent. I need this. Those are other people's agendas, other people's missions that you are, you are conforming to. It's not your own. I'm not saying don't respond to these and anything like that. I'm just trying to give you a different mindset of kind of what I do, what I've learned from other these world-class marketers and entrepreneurs. What they do is they wake up and they're deliberate, right? So they have a mission. They know what they want to do, and they set their day up themselves first and then they might go and check their emails and say okay what do I need to clean up and then that's a, a much better way of opening your day the other thing that I learned is about journaling so journaling and I want to really um, wrap this in the right mindset because I had a little trouble so many times of learning what journaling was what, what really journaling meant because I thought journaling meant that I had to to write down this uh, this these awesome ideas and, you know, uh, writing, you know, poetry or some positivity all the time, like really just journaling those kind of things, those kind of thoughts. And sometimes, you know, I just wanted to vent, right? I'd wake up in the morning and, and I just wanted to vent or my mind was racing in a lot of ways, right? So once I learned that it was okay to, to just journal whatever is on your mind at the time, and sometimes it's not personal, it could be business. Sometimes it's the other one or the other, but it's journaling is, is, is not about being productive in what you journal. Journal is just emptying your head and being able to flush out ideas, to clear your mind. It's, it's even to grow spiritually, to grow as a business person, to grow, uh, you know, who you are. And it just removes all the, the muddy thoughts that's in your head. It removes confusing thoughts, right? Because I'm sure as an entrepreneur, you have a lot of things going on in your head, and if you flush them out all the time, then it allows the day to be a little bit more clearer for you. And what it allows you to do, whether you know it or not, your subconscious knows now that, hey, if I ever wanted to go back to those thoughts, what was that thing I was thinking about? Guess what? It's in your journal now, and you can go back and check it out. So it just opens up another another dimension, if you will, <laughs> of your of your subconscious that uh, will help you throughout the day. Um, one of the other things that uh, I want to talk about here is to give yourself some time, to give yourself some space. And I talk about this with my VIP clients all the time. And, and even just in students when I'm doing masterminds is to at least give yourself an hour. When you wake up, give yourself an hour before you start looking at computer and the phone and the emails and all that kind of stuff. Just let yourself wake up, take in the day, think about what you're doing and you're not wasting time. You know, a lot of people just want to get up and bang, they want to, they want to hit and hit the ground running. I mean, it's, it, there's one, you know, there's one argument about being in the grind and being like a motivation, have motivation and all this stuff. But at the same time, if you're not giving yourself room 
to grow, to just think and, and, and appreciate, you know, just waking up that day and saying, hey, what do I want to do today? And that allows you to do that kind of journaling, then you know what? You're not living life, man. I mean, that's what it's about. So always have a pen and paper handy because when you wake up in the morning, uh, you want to be able to write down things that are on your mind. And that's kind of what the journaling is about. And so here's some ideas. Write down maybe some things that are your, make you anxious, make you uncomfortable. Maybe there's, you know, usually things that are on your to-do list that you haven't done yet and you kind of want to, you know, keep those on a running list to make sure that you're being accountable to yourself going, hmm, I thought these were <laughs> priorities, but I'm not getting them done. So uh, maybe I, I need to reprioritize my time, right? Here's the thing. One of the last things I want to say about this is that the most important stuff that we need to do in our business uh, is the most uncomfortable stuff. And, and you probably already know this. The most important things in your business, whatever they are, you probably already know, as I'm saying this, what they are, it's the most uncomfortable things to do. And that's why you keep hearing the whole cliche of we got to move outside our comfort zone. Well, because the most important things we need to do are outside of it. It doesn't make us very comfortable at all. Okay? So the last thing I want to talk about, because I want to keep this relatively short, is that, you know, if you want to 10x your productivity, then what I would do is, because we've got so much things going on, and here's what I've learned, is you have a short list of things you have to do, right? So uh, from The One Thing, you know the book, The One Thing by Gary Keller, uh, he says, if I were to do this one thing today, would I be happy? Um, would my business move forward if I did this one thing? Will it make others, the other things that I need to do on this list, irrelevant or easier? So a lot of my clients will, will give me a whole list of stuff they need to do, and I often say to them, okay, guess what? If I had a gun to your head right now, which one would you do? And they immediately know what that is. And I don't want to paint that picture, but realistically, that's what it is. If you could only do one thing in that whole list today, which one would it be that would move your business forward and make something else on that list irrelevant? It eliminates it or makes it easier for you. And that's how you prioritize, right? So take the yeses, take all the stuff that you say, well, all of these are important, and then you block out two or three hours and just knock them off, knock them off one at a time. Hey, listen, if you spend 50 minutes uh, per day, just per day, 50-minute focus, and I'm talking about just doing one thing for 50 minutes, and you did that once a day for a whole week, your productivity will go up 80%. Trust me on this. Try it out. I do it with my clients. And, and students all the time. It's the 50 minute focus and it's actually on my website. So if you're watching this after and you want to get a copy of that 50 minute focus exercise or anything like that, hey, give me a comment and I'll give you, I'll point you in the right direction. Okay. So listen, I had some fun. This has gone longer than I expected. Uh, hopefully you like this. Hopefully give you some, uh, some inspiration and some ideas on how to move your business forward. And if you got any topic ideas or where you're struggling with or anything like that, pop them in the comments below and I'll sure to do some, some more videos like this for you. Okay. That's it for me. I'm out. Cheers.